The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' chair. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all brothers and sisters. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Christ. The greatest among you will be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. So I see everybody is uh, well rested. If I get their extra hour of sleep, remember we have to give it back in the spring. So I thought I'd preach a little bit longer since everyone is rested. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, as uh, we come together this weekend, uh, this past week, uh, entering into the month of November, we had two uh, major celebrations, the Feast of All Saints and also the Feast of All Souls. This weekend is our Memorial Mass weekend, as Father Pedro indicated at the beginning of Mass. This weekend we've invited families back from funeral celebrations that we've uh, held here at St. George, and we've invited families back um, so that we can remember their loved ones, we can support them as a parish family, pray for them, uh, and at the end of the homily at each of the Masses this weekend, uh, we've been praying for those who have died and celebrated their funerals here, but also we lit candles in honor of our loved ones, and so we have family uh, members that are here, and they'll be able to keep uh, that candle after Mass as a sign and a very, very small token of our prayers and support as a parish community, because as we heard in the Gospel, Jesus say, we are all brothers and sisters. No one more important than the other, but we all have to work together. We all have to support one another. We all are on this journey to the kingdom of heaven. And the Feast of All Saints and All Souls reminds us of gazing into heaven. Pope Francis, uh, at his Mass on All Saints Day, celebrated a Mass at a cemetery in Rome. And during his homily, he reminds us of this uh, link to heaven. Link to the saints, but also linked to our, our link to our loved ones. He says, we reflect and think about our own future and about all those who have gone before us and are now with the Lord. The Lord God, beauty, goodness, truth, tenderness, the fullness of love, all that awaits us. And all those who preceded us and died in the Lord are there in heaven with God. And he goes on to say this about kind of what anchors us, what holds us in this. He says, if today we are remembering these brothers and sisters of ours who lived before us and are now in heaven, they are there because they are washed in the blood of Christ. That is our hope, and this hope does not disappoint. If we live our lives with the Lord, he will never disappoint us. To have our hearts anchored up there where our loved ones are, where the saints are, where Jesus is, where God is, that is hope. That is the hope that doesn't disappoint. 
There are difficult moments in life, but with hope you go forward and keep your eyes on what awaits us. Today is a day of hope. Our brothers and sisters are in the presence of God, and we too will be there in the Lord's arms if we follow the path of Jesus. We gather together this morning thanking God for the gift of his love, but we gather to remember Christ's death and resurrection, that those who have gone before us are in the kingdom, and we need to be reminded of that love, reminded of that promise that has been fulfilled. And we come here not only to renew it for ourselves, but to remind one another, where do we belong? And where are we headed? And how to get there? Where do we belong? We belong in the kingdom of heaven. Who do we belong there with? All the saints and our families. And how do we get there? We get there by living as Christ in this world. This time last year, I was in Poland on retreat. Uh, and a little bit of holiday time. And on All Saints Day, amongst many other religious ho holidays, it's actually a statutory holiday. Everything is closed. And on that evening of All Saints, I was able to go to and uh, be a visit a cemetery, one of the oldest, oldest cemeteries in Krakow. It's about a 40 minute walk from the hotel. Walk there and as we approached um, the cemetery, all we can hear is uh, thousands of people singing. And when we got kind of to the main chapel or church area at the cemetery, uh, we, we joined a crowd of thousands along with Cardinal Jeevish, who was the uh, Cardinal Archbishop of Krakow, recently retired. He was St. John Paul II's personal secretary for over 40 years. And he was concluding a beautiful prayer service. After the prayer service, people kind of dispersed over to the various family graves, and the uh, graves of very historic figures of Poland. <clears throat> and in this main walkway in uh, this cemetery, it's a huge cemetery, in this main walkway, uh, there is a lit pathway. But in any other parts of the cemetery, there were no lights. And it was dark. This was after 6 o'clock in the evening. It was pitch black. But on that night, you didn't need a flashlight or you didn't need anything to find your way because amongst the thousands of people, there were thousands and thousands of candles lit at the graves of famous Polish uh, historic figures and loved ones that uh, illuminated a beautiful glow throughout the entire cemetery. And so we walked around in the midst of this darkness, but led by this light to pray with families, to pray for those who have died with no connection, but with a connection that we are all brothers and sisters. And that reminded me that even in the midst of our own sadness, the mourning the loss of a loved one, going through a difficulty in our lives, carrying our crosses that seem to just lead us to more darkness, there is this light that shines. And that light is Christ's love and the gift of eternal life. We come here to have that light of love and the light of Christ's eternal gift of eternal life that, as Pope Francis says, never disappoints us, to have that candle and that light lit within our hearts. And we can only do it through Christ and through one another. Today, in a, in a few moments, we'll be uh, remembering the names of all the loved ones, but in particular those families that are here for this Mass, to remember their loved ones, and their candles will be lit from the Easter candle, which is a reminder to us that Jesus is the light of the world. And that candle and that flame will light the flames of these memorial candles. But for us, when we come to Mass, Christ comes to us as the light of the world into our hearts, and we become these shining candles in this world. In the midst of anger, in the midst of judgment, in the midst of divisions, in the midst of sufferings, in the midst of injustice. It's our actions, it's our presence, it's our solidarity, it's our humility as we heard in the gospel, it's our love for one another as brothers and sisters that will shine brightly and offer a hope that does not disappoint. 
One of the things Pope Francis has encouraged over and over again that if we're going to be a people of the gospel, we have to be people of joy. And to be people of joy, we have to have Christ's light in our hearts or we become an empty vessel and an extinguished candle. And we offer no hope to those around us. As we continue in our Mass and as we pray for our loved ones, as we pray for all those names inscribed in our book of life by the baptismal font, and I encourage you to place names of loved ones there, as we continue to mourn loved ones of, who have passed into the kingdom of recent times or 20, 30, 40 years ago, we remember them, but we also remember the light of Christ, that his love does not disappoint, that we have the gift of eternal life if we choose to be lights for others. So, in a way, let's get lit on fire. Yeah, everybody, someone get that? (laughs) You didn't let me finish. (laughs) To embrace that flame of how much Christ loves us and have that stir in our hearts that we can love others. As um, a conclusion to my reflections this morning before Mary Catherine reads off the names and we take some time to remember... So I want to pray uh, with you a a very short prayer for All Souls Day, and I think it's appropriate for this weekend. Lord God, you are the glory of believers and the life of the just. Your Son redeemed us by dying and rising to life again. Since our departed brothers and sisters believed in the mystery of our resurrection, let them share the joys and blessings of the life to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We're going to invite Mary Catherine forward as we now take time to remember all of our loved ones and especially those for this Mass and whose family members are here this morning. Today we gather as a community to pray for the members of our parish who have died this past year. We light candles in their memory and we take time to reflect upon their lives. As we call your loved one's name, we invite their family members to come forward and light their candle. We remember Kareen Scollard. Thank you so much. We remember Frank Mattis. We remember Alberta Cummins. And we remember John Brennan. John Brennan was my elementary school principal, Mm -hmm. who I had the honor of celebrating this funeral for. Thank you so much. He's a great man. We also pray for those who have died whose families were at our other Eucharistic celebrations and lit candles. And so we remember Donald Crossman, Diane Nolan, Joe Rogolino, George Soares, Luigi Michelazzi, Laura McDonald, William McCready, Lillian Marcasio, Tony McLeod, John Calthorp, Allison Campbell, Jim Grimbleby, Dimna Corrigan, Bill Rideout, Paul Wiley, Et Ewald Beerbaum, Jean Mindorf, Veronica La Rochelle, Jennifer Leeson, Joan Mayer, Cindy Lyons, Pat Roach, John Bennett, 
Samantha Despard, Vince Loben, Erica Merck, Mark Landis, Boomer Borschke, Adele Cummins, Jacqueline Ainge, Andrew Mischuk, and Mary Lou Versteeg. Lord God, you are attentive to the voice of our pleading. Let us find in your Son comfort in our sadness, certainty in our doubt, and courage to live through the days to come. Make our faith strong through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so remember, we remember all of them. We remember our, the families of these loved ones who have gone home. We remember those inscribed in our book of life, and we remember all those whom we mention now in the silence of our hearts, who are now in the kingdom of God, that we will see them again because our hope is fulfilled. souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. 